so no matter what comes your way, nothing can ruin your day. Leave a white smile. All right, finally, we're going live. Finally, we're doing it right. Okay, so join me every Monday at roughly 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I'm going to try and go live every single Monday. Obviously, if it's Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, actually Christmas and New Year's Day both fall. Actually, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day fall on a Monday. So it's going to be a little bit challenging, but essentially every single week I'm going to answer your top comments. I'm going to bring up a subject that I know is really important. And listen, if the camera's moving, that's because I'm hitting the table. So obviously, I know it's a little bit of the amateur hour. However, I'm setting, it, setting this up myself. So just bear with me. The biggest thing that we're going to be talking about today is pre-commitment. Okay, as you know, obviously from the title of the video, which is, okay, going into 2018, I already talked about the three things. What do you need to start doing? What do you need to stop doing? And what do you need to continue doing? We already discussed that last week. Okay, when you're looking to start something, obviously one of the hardest things is the habit, the consistency, how long, what if I miss a day, what if I miss two days? I know for myself, if I miss two days, I'm screwed. I'm probably just gonna go back to not going to the gym or I just, I just call it a lost week, which kind of sucks and it's kind of stupid, but you know what, I'm getting over that. This is something that you should always be catching is, what do you say when you talk to yourself? There's a book called, What Do You Say When You Talk To Yourself? One of the biggest things when you're actually changing a habit is saying, you know, I, and this is gonna go on top of it, which is, what do, you, what do you see yourself as? You know, you're never gonna become something that you don't, you don't actually believe. It's like the first step of, of AA. The first step of AA is to admit that you're an alcoholic. The first step to anything is to admit that you're addicted to it. It could be TV, social media, your phone, videos, uh, alcohol, porn, anything. Whatever you're addicted to, you have to say, okay, I'm addicted to this. How do I change it? Okay, so this is all leading up to what I'm gonna be talking about, about pre-commitment. And essentially the easiest way to solidify that you need to actually commit to something to move forward into growth, to have that quantum leap that we all want. You know. Listen, there's two books out there, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and then The Slight Edge by Mike Olson or Jeff Olson, one of the Olson, one of the Olson twins. And essentially, there, there are no quantum leaps. Yeah, I actually feel there are. There's a hockey stick, you know, it goes like this for probably years and then like that and you're like, where did, where did this person come from? You know, Ray Kroc is a perfect example. At age 53, 54 years old, the guy actually starts McDonald's at that age. Then you have the founder of KFC, Colonel Sanders. The guy starts Colonel Sanders at 65 when he's actually writing his retirement letter or like, you know, he's writing this to himself. And he says, you know, what did I really accomplish? Imagine starting it then, okay? So when you actually think about how young you are, this is where it starts. What do you need to stop doing? What do you need to continue doing? And what do you need to start doing? So how do you actually start doing something? Every, obviously the easiest way is to start doing it. But that doesn't really work all the time. And actually most of the time it doesn't really work. You actually have to understand that, you have to understand yourself and you have to understand human nature. Human nature, we're here to survive and replicate. That's it, just survive. Okay, so under survival, what does that entail? food, water, shelter, keeping in a homeostasis to make sure that we don't go too far outside of our comfort zone, we don't go too far into the fear zone, into something that we've never done. You know, you, you're never gonna lose fear. There's this guy, I, I gotta get his name because I've brought his examples up a couple of times, is when, before going on stage, very famous actor, or whatever, Broadway star, whatever you wanna call it about, even for years, decades, this guy would go on stage and he said, if he didn't throw up before, throw up, throw up, blah. If he didn't throw up before walking on stage, he didn't perform well. So in other words, what he did was he said, I feel afraid, no, 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 no. He said, I feel excited, and then he would perform. It's all about what you say when you're, you're going into fear, when you're actually doing something a little bit different, and I'm gonna, parlay all this into the main topic, which is the title of this video. So he would go out onto stage, out onto the stage, previously thrown up, very nervous, clearly, with his heart racing, and then he would use that and go forward. There's people like Travis Pastrana, the, the action sports athlete, 
who would literally talk to himself and say, listen, I feel way too comfortable. I need to do something that pushes me outside of my comfort zone. That's the opposite of most people where they say, I'm too fearful, I don't want to move forward. He says, I'm too comfortable, I need to move forward. Okay, so we have to first see where we're addicted to something or where we have an issue with something. You actually have to admit it to yourself because if you don't admit it to yourself, you're never gonna actually change. You're never gonna change if you, if you don't actually say, you know what, I have a spending problem, I have a food problem, I, have, uh, I don't like going to the gym or I'm really bad in relationships. You actually have to admit it to yourself before you can believe it, okay? Because you have to believe it admit it to yourself, and then you can move forward into growth because if there's no accountability, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna change, okay? So one of the biggest things you have to understand moving forward is admitting, okay, Tony Robbins talks about seeing the situation how it is. How is your situation? Health, wealth, love, relationships, your business, getting business, keeping business, clients, reaching out, making sales calls, whatever the case is, your relationship, say, say you're having problems in your relationship, it's loveless. You know, there's really two, ah, there's three, three types of roommates where you're, three types of roommates, three types of relationships. Number one is you're having incredible sex, but you can't really communicate, okay? You, you have that attraction, you have that lust, you have that love, but once you're done you know, making out or holding hands, you sit down at dinner or you're laying down at the couch or you're traveling, but there's really no communication. Then you have the people that communicate and they're incredible at that, but they're roommates because there's no passion, there's no, there's no sexual energy. And then the third one is obviously what everyone wants where there's sex and communication, where you have both. And I use the word sex. You could replace that with anything. Okay, you could replace it with passion or love. Something where there's this, this, this energetic feeling towards, magnetic uh, drawing towards your spouse or whatever it is. And then obviously communication, there's radical honesty, there's authenticity, there's talking about something before it blows up into a big deal. Okay, so essentially you have to believe, you have to admit it to yourself, then you have to believe. Okay, so here's an example is, I wanted to get into video, all right? So I needed, to, I needed to admit to myself that I wasn't doing enough. I wasn't doing enough video, I wasn't doing quality video, I, my marketing campaign for the, for the company wasn't that good. I had, to, I had to admit that to myself before I could move forward into growth, into okay, where am I, where do I need to go, and how do I get there, okay? That sounds super simple, but actually admitting it and saying, okay, I have an issue with eating. I have an issue in my relationships. I have an issue for me in my business. Okay, I have an issue in my business. We're not marketing the way we want to market. Okay, I have to admit that. Then what do I need to replace that with? What do I need to believe? Okay, media is very important. Social media is very important. Producing content is very important. Okay, I needed to believe that. And then slowly over surely, hearing this slowly over surely, if that's even a word or a statement, I would have to believe that. And I started believing it, and that's when I started moving forward into growth. Why did I start believing it? I started believing it because I was hearing stories from very wealthy people that said, what turned their, think, here are three examples. I say the word Tesla, I say the word Apple, I say the word, not really Amazon, because that's customer service. Yeah. They're really actually not that good at marketing. Well, maybe they are, I have no idea. But I know Apple's very good at marketing, Tesla's very good at marketing, Red Bull is extremely good at marketing, GoPro is very good at marketing. These are companies that utilize their marketing to essentially go to sales. The thing is, if you utilize something without actually taking action, if you utilize reading books or buying the gym membership or buying the food but it's not consistent or you don't actually go to the gym or you don't actually eat the food or you still eat cookies, it's not going to happen. There's going to be no real change. You admit it, then you have to believe it. Believe it like deep down, okay, that cookies and sugar, you know, I was listening to uh, Laird. Hamilton, uh, what's his name, Laird something, the, the big wave surfer, and he said, the white devil, there's three white devils. Number one, uh, white flour, which is also bread, white sugar, and, oh, and the first one is obviously like cereal grains and whatever, they, they say it's like whole wheat nutritious, like cornflakes and whatever, that's not real grains, like let's be honest. 
white sugar, and I forgot what the other one was. Oh, milk, dairy. I know for myself is that when I have milk, even the smallest little milk in my coffee, I break out. In other words, so I look at it and I say, okay, I get acne, uh, and it's not like crazy, but it's like only when I have milk do I get acne. So I'm like, all right, there's something in there, so what do I do? I eliminate it, and then it clears up. So then I know, okay, when I have this, this is what happens. When I have sugar, my mind goes crazy, and then I can't concentrate. When I have, and the way that Laird said it was, when he, when he eats, he's thinking of it as fuel, not as food. So if he eats the wrong thing, his fuel and his engine would not be working properly. Okay, so let's go into the actual title of this video instead of just ranting. I understand this is Facebook Live and YouTube Live and everything else. But one of the biggest things that when you're actually committing to something, you have to pre-commit, okay? So they say this in coaching. If you ever hire a coach, Coaching doesn't start your first phone call or the first time you meet with them. Coaching starts the day you sign up. Why? Because you committed to something bigger than yourself. You committed to accountability. And then when you commit to accountability, to something bigger than yourself, then you actually have to move forward into growth. You're forced to move forward into growth. You're forced into accountability. Once you are forced into accountability, now you're being held accountable. Now you'll take action. You're forced to take action. An example is, you see a pretty girl, you want to go over and talk to her, okay? You can either think about what to say, you can always think about what to do, or you can just walk over, and now you, because you've committed to walking over and saying hi, now you have to perform, now you have to take action. For me, the two examples is, okay, listen, our marketing campaign was not as good as what we want it to be, so I had to admit it. Then I had to believe that marketing was good and then I had to pre-commit. So how did I pre-commit? Okay, so you commit to something, which is for us, we brought on a videographer and he's a total magician. The guy does two vlogs a week for us and he's also, he told us about this, well, sort of told us about the, the camera, but for us, we knew that content was important. We knew, so once, and he also took a big step because he was ready to, um, leave his job. He ended up leaving his job and started working for us two days a week and now he's doing tons of projects. The guy's super busy. We're also paying him. We will also want to utilize his services for other people that we know. And essentially we committed to him. He committed to us. It wasn't a full-time mutual exclusive relationship. However, the pre-commitment made me get better on video, made me buy better equipment made me understand how to go Facebook Live, okay? Here's another example. We signed up, I think, about a year and a half ago. I've been really competitive, not competitively cycling, but cycling competitively, which is two different things. In other words, I'm not in races. Like, I'll go to events, but I'm not racing to win. I'm racing against myself. But any time that you sign up for something, whether it's the marathon, you know, when people choose to say they just had the New York City Marathon, when they choose to put their name into a lottery and they get chosen, they're like, oh shit, now I gotta train, okay? That's when they start training, when they, when they commit to something, okay? When they commit, here's another example. I knew that content was king. I knew that video is everything. I knew that live is getting boosted on all the social mediums. So I said, this is something I've been thinking about for maybe a year, maybe a couple of months or whatever, and I've always been trying to structure it right, and it wasn't the right time. So this is what I said, all right? I always wanted to do influencer interviews, people that are really good at their craft, and they also have a big following. So I just started taking hot yoga probably about two months ago or three months ago, and it's hot athletic yoga. Okay, I always looked at it as this corny thing and like, who's gonna do this? This is stupid. But I went to the class, I pre-committed, and now I'm obsessed. That's the thing is that you never know, but you will never know if you don't commit. Who, how many people actually, they started to run and now they love running? For me, it was cycling. I pre-committed to a race, I went to that race, I was wearing a t-shirt, with shorts, meanwhile everyone else has a leotard on and a helmet and I got like regular glasses, I don't have any gloves on, I look like a total schmohawk, <laughs> according to, uh, what's his name, Larry David. Pre-committed, went to the race, obsessed. That's the thing is, most people, they need the best equipment. 
I'll tell you a story. I was down in uh, Texas probably about a year ago and I went to a real estate conference. It was actually, I think, a one-day conference. But the guy was so good that I'm like, I need to learn from him. And that's the thing is when you pre-commit to something like a, an event, you know and you need to travel for that you're, and you, you know you need to get the value back. So if it's $1,000 to get there or the event is say $300 and, and it's you know, $500 for the plane and everything else, you want to get that $1,000 back so you try even harder. If the event was right in your building, you're like, okay, this is great, blah, blah, blah. But when you travel and you commit to something, that's when you get the most value. So there's so many things that I could go with this. I'm there and learning from the guy. He's awesome. His name is Tim Heil. Highly recommend you check him out if you're in real estate. Obviously, if you're not, doesn't matter because he's really good at scaling systems. You know, scaling the unscalable, which is real estate agents or systems in real estate agents or reaching out to clients and whatnot. So we're there and I'm talking with this one guy and at the time, not like I have you know millions of subscribers, but at the time I said, yeah, I do YouTube videos and, and the guy that was serving me at the hotel restaurant was talking about how he did YouTube videos and whatnot. I said, oh, for how long? He said, ah, you know, we're pushing about six months. And the guy, I think he does Video gaming or something, you know, video gaming or he records or whatever. Guy had a great personality. I said, you're going to be super successful. He goes, well, you know, I've, I've tried it, you know, one or two times. I said, oh, really? Like in the last week? He goes, nah, about two months ago, but I really want to get back into it. I'm like, for what? How long? He goes, well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have the right computer. I'm like, dude, my, my, this is how I started my channel, okay, on my cell phone, okay? He was like, oh, well, you know, what about the camera? I'm like, well, this was the camera. This was the recording device. This was the audio. And he's looking at me, and I could tell that he was using not having the right equipment as his excuse for not going further, not trying. And I'm thinking, in my mind, there's two types of people. The people that will throw up barriers, and that's why they don't go to the audition in L.A. to become an actor or actress. They say, well, you know what, it's not my type of role. Or this person that was in Texas and they were saying, well, I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the right computer. I don't have, I don't have my audio isn't that good. I'm like, this is what I use and I have 1,600 subscribers. So that's what I, I said, listen, you have to commit to doing it, then upgrade the equipment. What, what are those, what are three examples I just said? Uh, YouTube on my phone. And then I get better ones where I can go live. I have a, a beautiful camera that I'm looking into. I have an audio system on my tie right now. I pre-committed to the, the race, the bike race. Then I upgraded the actual leotard or spandex or whatever you want to call it. I upgraded my bike. I upgraded my helmet, my glasses. I, I now wear gloves. And now I track myself on my heart rate. Those were all upgrades, but I pre-committed, okay? Influencer interviews, these are things that we're gonna be doing in the future. So what am I getting at? If you have no accountability, if you have no way of actually ensuring that in the future you're gonna be doing something you wanna do, then it, ensuring it is getting an accountability partner, getting the gym partner, getting your, your wife, your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend to hold you accountable, getting the, the, the internet, getting your social media, this is what I do every single year. Every single year, I make a list of the top three things I want to work on. I think I've already told you the story. Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, he says, if Facebook does three big things for the year, successful year. That's all he wants to do. He doesn't want to do 12 or 15 or 20 things. Like everyone's like, I want to lose weight. I want a spouse. I want to get married. I want to start a business. I want to Let's just start on getting your health, okay? Let's get that. Then when you have your health, let's start going into getting a spouse. Once you get your spouse or, or someone, let's move into getting a business. Because getting a business is going to suck away all of your time. So you want to have in order your health, then your relationships, then your business. Because if you don't have your health handled, you're screwed. Okay? I know that firsthand. I would be lazy. I would have, because I was eating sugar, my mind was all over the place. I couldn't focus. I wasn't meditating. Uh, I would walk into an area and I needed stimulation. I needed, I needed to, what, what's going on? Oh my gosh, I have, all these, I have all these notifications. I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it. But that's like back in the day, like right now, I don't really care. But back in the day, I would care. 
Okay, that's the biggest thing is that I've committed, now you could work on small things. I've committed to not relying on my cell phone, not relying on one source of business, not relying on someone to make me happy in a relationship, not relying on my mind to take over like this morning and say, Charles, you don't need to go to the gym. You were just with your parents this weekend. You don't need to go and eat healthy today. Why don't you call in? Why don't you say, you know what, do this Facebook Live another time. There's always going to be an excuse. How did I start this Facebook Live? Survive, replicate, that's it. Survival is staying in your apartment. Replicating is getting a spouse, is getting someone that, that a partner, okay? You, you need to start with the base. You need to start with the macro before you start getting into the micro. The micro is making millions of dollars. Okay, let's start with the base of waking up early, making sales calls, consistently making sales calls, consistently reaching out to people. Okay, so when I look at my phone, there's notifications of business or referrals or people that wanna work with you, okay? So listen, I don't even know if I'm in focus. There we go, I'm in focus. For me, I know I'm just gonna get a little bit better every single day, every single Facebook Live. I'm gonna get more comfortable. Like how did I start this? I started this like, oh, this is good and everything else, this is really fun and da da No, no, no. I started it kinda of slow, I knew where I was going with the, the Facebook Live or YouTube, this video, and then I started just riffing and just rolling. Like right now, I have no idea what I'm gonna say, but that's because I pre-committed to doing this live, to doing this live. When you do that, there's no editing, there's no starting over, you just gotta go, okay? So what are the action steps? Number one is, what are you gonna pre-commit to? It's not pre-committing to a gym membership, that's good, because you're gonna to have to spend money. But I've had gym memberships for months, back in the day, where I would never go. So it just kept on coming out of my bank account every single month. You know, I'll bring up some other examples that you know, sorta of aren't the best examples. However, I pre-committed to a more expensive apartment. Actually, this is a better example. So I lived in Hell's Kitchen here in New York City. Uh, fifth floor walk up, four, Four people, two bathroom, really cool spot. Nobody knew actually, nobody knew each other, ironically enough. We all met on Craigslist, but we got along great. But after a while, what would, you know, I talk all day, okay? I wanna just go home and just literally, no pun intended, let my hair down and just be like, oh, for like an hour, just decompress before starting it over again. And you need that, you, you need that. They, they call it the uh, something engagement. I forgot the, the name of it, however, I said, you know what, I can't afford this studio downtown, but I really, really, really want it. So I convinced the management company that I could afford it, even though I couldn't, and then I actually had to pay for it. So what happened? I wasn't making that much money. But because I pre-committed, I said, I need to be able to pay for this or else I'm gonna lose all of my money. So I had to make more sales calls. I had to be a little bit more bold. I had to learn how to close. I, learned, I had to learn how to work by referral. Okay, then I pre-committed to a larger apartment. Then I said, okay, now I need to make more money. I don't say that's a good idea, okay? Because you're just throwing money outside the window. However, you ha when, you're, when, you, you know, when you actually go through those steps in one small area, you understand I can apply this in other areas. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has talked about this multiple times. He said, to win Mr. Olympia, he had to literally travel while he was in the military, without them actually knowing, he was leaving camp and base to work out to get stronger and compete in Mr. Olympia, the universal Mr. Olympia, and win, okay? That's insane. So he said, okay, I worked my ass off, and I had to do this a long time before I actually won. What else can I do? I'm gonna be the highest paid actor. Highest paid actor, dude, we can't even talk about, you have a funny accent, you have a weird last name, you're too big? You're never gonna make it. He said, you know what, I'm gonna work, work, work until I'm the highest paid actor. Actor, you know, actor. Boom, highest paid actor. He said, you know what, I'm gonna run for the governorship. This guy, then I'm gonna marry a Kennedy. Like, this guy, insane. But he applied it to every area, every area of his life, okay? So what did I, what am I applying to an area of my life, which is health? You know, that, that's an easy area. I've noticed that if I do something right, and I do that consistently, I can continuously do that right and consistently. So what does that mean? If I consistently go to the gym and I consistently eat well, I'm gonna have more energy. So I say, okay, 
What else can I do that's consistent? Okay, if I consistently make sales calls, I will consistently have at least a higher chance of bringing in more business. If I consistently approach a pretty girl that I see out at a bar or Starbucks or wherever, I'll consistently have a higher percentage of actually meeting someone that I want to date. It's just, if, if, I, if I was in high school, if I consistently studied, and I just did that for a while, I would have a higher percentage of getting an A, okay? This isn't a steadfast, insane, just, oh my gosh, thanks for the quantum knowledge, Charles. No, no, this is just, if you understand where you need to change, you believe deep down you need to change, because if you don't believe you're gonna change or you're gonna keep that habit, then you're not. Oh, this is diets. How stupid is a diet, you know? Oh, I'm on a diet because I'm getting married. I'm on a diet because it's the summer. I'm on a diet because I'm dating this very attractive girl or this very handsome guy. I'm on a diet. It's like, why, why are you on a diet? What is a diet? That's why my company, BPI, is BPI Lifestyle. BPI Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle to get what you want consistently through life. There, or do you want to be a child, child star you get thrown up on a, a very big hit TV show when you're 13, 14 years old, and then you fall off. Or you're Leonardo DiCaprio and you continuously get better. You're either a Dustin Diamond, who is Screech in Saved by the Bell, and now he's in jail. Or Mr. Belding, who just blew up, just has tons of weight on him, and now he's doing, like, he's getting paid to do, you know, these, these silly appearances. Do you think he wants to do that? Or he still wants to be an actor? Okay, you just one hit and now you're, you're gone? Are you a one hit wonder? Are you the Ralph Macchio? Or are you the Leonardo DiCaprio, the Robert De Niro, the person that consistently just produces good videos? And are, there, are all their videos incredible? No, okay, but they still show up and they consistently do this. They said, okay, if I do this, here's another one, I, I forgot the guy, uh, he played Lincoln, he, he also was in Gangs in New York, and he was incredible. But what he does is, he said to get ready for the role, he does this every single time. He understands the character, he believes he is that character, believes, and his wife says, when he's shooting a movie, he literally was Abraham Lincoln. Off the set, on the set, at home, with his wife, with himself, whenever. He was always Abraham Lincoln, okay? So, he, he pre-committed, to be in this person all the time until the movie stopped filming. That's why he, he was always in character. He became the person he wanted to become. And then it wasn't, it wasn't like turning on and off. It was like, I am this person while we're filming. Who are you saying you are and you are not? And then who told you you are or you not? Okay? I was told all this bullshit when I was growing up. All this bullshit. You know, you're, you're not going to be successful because you're not good at school. You're not going to be successful because you, you joke around too much. You're not going to be successful because you don't read. You're not going to be successful because I told you so and I'm successful. Because I'm your teacher, I'm society, I'm your boss, I'm your manager. That's all they said, okay? Just consistently. That's just all I heard, okay? So I just believed it. And of course I lived into that. Because I believed it, I lived into an unsuccessful 22 years of my life maybe even 23 years of my life, and then boom, it all changed, okay? It all changed. I started reading a little bit, learning about all these different areas. Okay, let's work on health, let's work on relationships, let's work on marketing, sales, public speaking, influencing, all these areas. I wasn't taught personal finance, credit scores, all these areas. There's a book for everything, okay? If you don't like audiobooks, go to physical books. If you don't like physical books, go to Kindle, okay? so. Listen, this was a lot longer than I thought. I have no idea how long it is. And I'm assuming that this is gonna be up on social media because uh, <laughs> to be honest, this was one of my better videos. So have an awesome day. Pre-commit to something. And then when you pre-commit to something, just do it. Don't, work, don't wait for the right equipment or the right time or when someone gives you permission, that's gonna be next week's video. I waited for everyone to give me permission to do something before I actually did it myself, okay? So give yourself permission, start, pre-commit, sign up for the race, buy the equipment, post your, first, post your first video, post your first vlog, start writing if you want a book, start working out, 
pre-commit by the gym membership. Say you're gonna go to the gym, get a business partner, get a mentor. There's so many ways, but you have to pre-commit. And it was scary, and I'll just leave you on this one. Because they, some people look at me and they're like, oh, he's not fearful. I was scared shitless. I, I didn't sleep for three days before we started shooting our first vlog. What are people gonna think? Is the editing gonna be good? Do we have enough content? Is the videographer gonna like it? Am I gonna be comfortable talking on camera? What about going live? What if I screw up? What if I say the wrong thing? This is all live. This isn't gonna get edited. There's no music. What, what if the, the plug comes under or the internet goes out? Whatever. Pre-commit, go ahead, that's how you get your quantum leap, all right? Do it consistently. Have an awesome day, subscribe to the video, leave your comments below, and obviously I'm gonna start answering comments, so that, that, I think that's the, the theme of the show going forward is I'm gonna answer some, some comments, but I'm gonna have a, a mainstay, just a, 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 what do you call it, the, the arch right at the top of a bridge, the corner, not the cornerstone, the, uh, I'm literally looking at an arc right now, but whatever. Subscribe to the video, leave your comments below. What are you gonna pre-commit to in 2018? Leave it in the comments below because when you start making it public, and I'm gonna make my three things, once I make those public, I have to live into that, okay? I pre-committed to going live, I pre-committed to the vlog, I pre-committed committed to influencer interviews, okay? Influencer interviews, that's, my first one is tomorrow. Well, I'm not ready for it. But you know what, I pre-committed. Once I do it, I'm like, wow, that was easy. Or that was challenging, or this is what I would change. It's never gonna be perfect, okay? Maybe influencer interviews are gonna be live here on one of the channels. Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon. Subscribe to the video. Leave your comments below on what you are committing to. And of course, any topics in the future you want me to talk about because we're always gonna be going live all the time. Talk to you soon. I'm out of time, I'm up and out of my bed